Hello, seventh graders. Uh, so this video is going to uh, help explain our new schedule that we are starting on January 19th, which is this coming Tuesday. All right. So uh, the biggest change that you need to understand, right, is that we're going to have six periods in our day now instead of four. OK, within those six periods. All right. The reason we had to change from four to six periods is that um, we want to have our math, English, science and social studies. I mean, you call those mess, those mess classes every day. OK, so the six period schedule is going to allow for that. All right. In addition to that, we're also going to have some other really nice parts to that. All right. These classes are now going to be in person, which is amazing. These teachers are dying to get in and get to know you in person. All right. So the arts, band, chorus, orchestra, uh, RWC for sixth grade and then um, wellness and world language. All right. So those classes are going to be occurring in person now, which is going to be really fun. All right. So this is what the timing, the schedule is going to look like. All right. We used to have 45 minute classes. Now we've got 40 minute classes. All right. So 830 is our new start. 830. All right. Instead of nine o'clock, 830. All right. So don't be late. All right. So our, our teacher is going to get started right at 830 on that first block. OK. And that'll be your first core class. And then we'll, we'll talk about how this kind of flows through. All right. You'll have some mask breaks just like we do now. All right. And we'll finish up at one o'clock now instead of 1235, 1245. OK. Um, so. That's gonna look exactly the same at home, okay? So what's gonna happen is the new feature of this schedule, all right, is that you're gonna be, you know, when you're not in the building, you're gonna be live streaming into the classroom, okay? So seventh grade, all right, Mr. Porras, all right, Mr. Porras is teaching a seventh grade math class to uh, cohort A kids, right? Cohort B kids will be paying attention on a Zoom beaming in. And then on Tuesday, the cohort A kids that were in person are gonna actually be remote now, right? And they'll be watching into his class on Tuesday while cohort B kids are in there. And then we'll rotate through on Thursday and Friday as well, okay? So you're still just in the building for two days, all right? But you're going to be getting those mess classes five days a week now because Wednesday is going to actually stay the same, all right? So let me show you how this transitions in, how the old schedule turns into the new schedule, all right? Your four mess classes, math, English, science, and social studies are going to occur here, 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 and here. So A, C, D, and F, all right, so that block goes to that, that block goes to that, and so on. And then I snuck in some other electives, and those those other classes are going to be now in person, okay? So that would be your your um, your math, your English, and your social studies. All right, thank God for video editing. I made a little mistake there. So uh, your one of the other features of the new schedule is that we have a three-day rotation now, all right? Um, instead of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? If, in order to fit everything in, we have to go on a rotation, okay? So the rotation is going to kind of look like this, all right? If cohort A is in the building on a day one on a Monday, right? Cohort B will still have an in-person day one the next day, all right? So on day one, cohort A kids are in the building. Cohort B kids will be beaming in, all right, via live stream, all right, into the classrooms, okay? And then on Tuesday, We'll switch it, right? So cohort A kids are going to be beaming in to the cohort B classes that are in the per in, in the building, okay? So we rotate it to make sure that everybody goes through the same schedule, all right, before we move on, okay? So day one and day one, day two and day two, day three and day three, and then on Thursday, Friday, that second week, we will go back to the day one part of the schedule, okay? So again, I'll be emailing you about that, all right? I wanted you to be able to see... Uh, how this kind of flows through for all that. So elective one, elective two, and elective three have to have that kind of rotation. All right. So this is what it's going to look like. All right. If I uh, participate in chorus, right, so I'll have chorus for, uh, second block on day one and day three. I'll have Latin second block on day two and day uh, block five on day three. And then wellness will be fourth, uh, sorry, fifth block on day one and day two. All right. So you'll have to kind of like keep track of that. All right. It's kind of like getting back to a normalish schedule. All right, where you've got to keep track of what day it is and the rotations and all that. OK, um, so again, we're going to be starting this new schedule on the 19th of January. All right. So right here. All right. So notice I didn't have the days marked above here because we didn't have to worry about that. We only worried about the day of the week. All right. But we're still going to have our cohort plan where we know who's in the building when. Right. You're just going to be remote beaming in to your classes. All right. In order to get through the rest of the day. All right. So. Uh, this is the schedule for January, starting the 19th. So like I said, day one, we finish day one. Then we move on to day two for two days. Then we have day three for two days. And then we go back to the day one schedule like I talked about before. All right. And then taking a look at February. All right. We are oh so close to February break. It feels very close anyway. All right. You can see the day's rotation there. I'll make sure I email this calendar to you so you can keep track. All right. 
I want to remind you again about our one-way hallways. You guys have been great about it, okay? But we're going to be moving around the building now, okay? So that's new, all right? Your classroom teachers, all right, are going to be staying put, and you're going to be the ones to move around, all right? In order to do that safely, all right, please just make sure you have your mask on in the hallways. Please make sure that you are social distancing, all right? You can still talk to your buddy while you're walking down the hallway. Just leave some space, all right, so we can all be safe and we can stay in with this model, all right? Um, and then another reminder of like this is the, the, the second floor, right? Uh, just to go back to this one for one second, your science teachers are going to be in their labs every day. So you're going to be traveling, all right? You're not just all stuck in that same room all day, which is good for you to move around a little bit, okay? And then science labs are going to be open, which is going to be really great, all right? This is only going to work if we keep maintaining all our safety measures that we've been using, all right? You got to make sure you're maintaining that social distancing, all right? Keep washing your hands, all that good stuff, all right? We're going to ask that you bring in some earbuds, uh, for everybody in the hybrid model, because there's going to be times where you're going to be conversing with someone maybe that's remote. So if you have earbuds, it won't distract everybody else. All right. And I think it's a good move. All right. So please bring those in if you can. All right. Uh, now I'm going to ask you to actually check your paper schedule right now. All right. Take, take any notice to any uh, sort of holes or gaps that you see. You think there's something wrong with it. Please tell your teacher and then email myself and Miss Roslanik. All right. And we'll, we'll tag team this and make sure you get all set up for Tuesday. OK. Um, and then last but not least, you know, I think it's a good idea to color code, especially with the new schedule. All right. Keep classes so you can stay organized. All right. Uh, you know, I, you may have some questions. I, I recommend that you live this for a couple weeks and then let's see if you can understand it. All right. We're going to have uh, teachers learning a new schedule as well. Be patient with them. They're working really hard. They've never live streamed before this. Right. So they're trying something new. All right. In order to get um, you into more of your classes more often, all right? I do think this is gonna work out really well for you. All right, stick with it, all right? We're gonna be stronger together, all that good stuff, all right? We'll talk to you soon.